Hey guys, welcome back. And uh, in the last couple of uh, tutorials, we looked at image segmentation using traditional machine learning. We are in the first video. We looked at uh, how to extract features and prepare them for uh, uh, random forest training or any machine learning based algorithm training. So in the previous tutorial, we looked at uh, how to actually train it and validate the the uh, trained model is it how accurate is it and by the way we got 98 percent accuracy so we are all happy now in this short tutorial i'm going to just talk about uh, which features actually contributed the most towards our model because uh, you can optimize if you want you know uh, to oh, by picking only the ones that matter the most okay so let's jump in and look at the code that we have written until now and again, we went uh, step by step methodically. Again, uh, scrolling back, uh, read the input image, and then uh, uh, realized that okay, the gray pixel, I mean, the pixel values are important. Uh, I mean, maybe an important factor, and I, I think uh, it will be uh, proven to be an important factor uh, when we look at the feature ranking. Uh, for our machine learning algorithm, and then we also added additional columns to our pandas data frame. Uh, you know, where we generated a whole bunch of Gabor filters as our features, uh, and then, I mean, Gabor filter responses from our image as the features, and Canny Edge and other uh, filters that we have applied onto our original image, and then added them as individual columns. So we ended up with total 41 different features that we trained our machine learning algorithm, which is random forest classifier in this case, and we haven't trained it on every piece of data. We actually held out 40% of our data for testing purposes, and then we tested the random forest, uh, you know, uh, or tested the accuracy of our, uh, uh, of our prediction against uh, the testing data set that we held out. And it came out to be about 98%, which is pretty amazing. Okay, uh, now, how do we know, getting to the point, you know, to the topic here, how do we know which feature actually worked the best? So, uh, luckily for random forest, that, that it is built in. Yeah, in fact, if you just go to import tenses and then just say, uh, uh, let's just go ahead and list uh, model, because we have our model right there, okay, dot feature underscore importances. I think there is another underscore right there. So this actually uh, uh, prints out the uh, prints out the list. Okay, uh, let's just make it a bit more uh, pretty. In fact, if I run this, it'll just print out the list. So let's first run it. Okay, well, we ran it, but we forgot to print it. But if you look at importances, uh, ta -ta 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 -ta, if I can find it, uh, yeah, there you go. It's a list with 41 entries, obviously because we have 41 features that actually went into our random forest training. And then it listed uh, the va uh, values of, uh, I mean, here we can see a few of them, 0 0.088, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.15, and so on. So let's uh, format it a bit better so it's easy for us to kind of uh, look, at, look at these. Uh, so let's... Uh, create uh, a list of features. I'm just looking at the list of features, right? So list of features is nothing but take our X data frame because X is our uh, 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 independent variables uh, data that actually went into a random forest, right? So look at that and then just get the column names. So I'm just gonna say uh, X dot columns. So this is my feature list. And now my feature importance is equal to uh, let's actually create a panda series because it's very easy for us to print uh, the panda series later on. So model dot, it's nothing but I'm just copying this, okay? Model dot importances. Let's go ahead and do that right here, okay? And uh, I'm creating a new panda series here. I'm creating a panda series, yeah, as you can see, where I'm doing you know, feature importances and also add an index to it. And my index is nothing but feature list, okay? 
So here, again, I don't want to confuse you by adding another topic. All I'm doing is creating a panda series where my uh, I'm, I'm, I'm basically adding uh, all the feature importances and then uh, the index is going to be the feature list. That's pretty much it. So now we can go ahead and print it, but uh, let's actually sort this. Uh, let's sort our values ascending equals to false, right? Because I want to uh, sort them based on the highest importance to the least important, okay? So uh, I call this features list. So let's go ahead and do features list over there, okay? So now if we print feature underscore importance, okay? Uh, let's, we don't, sorry, we don't need this anymore. So now when we print this, we should see a very nicely formatted, hopefully, uh, output right here. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, there you go. Now let's look at uh, which ones actually contributed the most. Okay, so here our Gaussian S3 seems to be the number one. I'm a bit surprised. I thought original image would be <clears throat> number one, but Gaussian also has uh, original image uh, pixel values, right? If you think about it. And then Gabor 4 seems to be the second winner. Gabor 3, original image, Gabor 24, 16, 15. And I think once you go below like Gaussian S7 and others, uh, the contribution is very minimal. And some of these, 14, 13, 12, 11, all of these, they're just taking up computing time and they are not contributing anything at all to our final uh, result. So if you want, if you want to save some of this computing time uh, for training and more importantly for also uh, uh, for prediction later on, then uh, you can only take like the top uh, five or you can look at what the, um, yeah, our top five or top 10, let's say, okay? And then just use only those ones. So I hope, uh, again, you found this tutorial to be useful. And uh, again, we are continuing this. And this is just a side step. But the next step is uh, taking this model, saving it, you know, or pickling it, okay? And uh, applying it on uh, a different image just to see how well it's, uh, how good of a job it is actually doing. So uh, in the next tutorial, let us, uh, let us uh, uh, save the model and just apply it on a single image, okay? So let's meet in the next tutorial. Thank you very much.